So greetings family, we're here at WEB, the Boys Center and Memorial here in Accra, Ghana. And this is the compound that was dedicated to him. And the good thing is we have arrived to where there's a nice program. And this place is well decorated and organized. So yes, um, we're in what actually used to be the boys' house, and it is the, the museum organized. It's very dark in there. They weren't expecting the visitors. Up. Lights off for real. Out. Yes. Oh, he's, uh, he's back. Okay, I go. I go. Let me, let me, let me try something. All right, Green's family, let's uh, let's get everybody's attention. I was waiting to, now, to get your attention. Whilst in the evening, as kids, when the lights are off, when it's off, we say, oh! <laughs> oh. And then we we'll wait till when it's about two hours or three hours when it can say, hey! <laughs> <laughs> then we jump with the hey. So that's exactly what we'll be doing. Hey! So, hey, the light is on. That's, that's, so I hand you over to the side guy who she's going to take you through um, the various stages of the museum and tell you the life and work of uh, Dr. W. E. B. Dubois, who was also part of the, you know, a, a, a. yes. Okay, Akwaba. Akwaba, yes. So we are going to learn for the first. Akwaba means welcome. So if someone say a cover to you, they all respond, me that's it. Means thank you. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so let's try. A cover. Someone say me that's a pan. Very thank you. But me that's it. It's just straight so that you can confuse yourself. So let's try one more time. A cover. That's it. I'm your side guy, Cecilia. A little story about this house and Dr. Du Bois. This was a house given to Dr. Du Bois by the department of the first president of Ghana, in 1961. Dr. Du Bois was invited because of a document called the Encyclopedia Africana Dictionary of African Biography. It was a document for the history of Africans, who they are, what they have, and what they can use their resources for, and also come together, fight for their rights, their freedom and their country. May I please Dr. Du Bois? Dr. Du Bois was a Pan African leader. He was a communist, a civil rights activist, and one who was fighting for black freedom. The main motive of Pan Africa was that a descendant of Africa would have a common goal. And that common goal was for Africans to unite, fight for their rights, their freedom, and their country. Today we are celebrating a right. So also for Africans to come together and also fight for their right, their freedom, and their country. So the motive and goal was reason to prepare the encyclopedia for Africans. Was the same as the pan African motive. So Dr. the boys is being a pan African leader, Fanny is very interested and in traveled to Ghana in his old age at the age of 93. And Dr. the boys spent only two years in this house. He died in this house on 27th August. 1963. Dr. Du Bois died a day before the march on Washington to buy the promise of civil rights struggle in the United States. 
So when Dr. the boys, we always refer him to be like Moses. We all know the story of Moses. Moses shall be the Israelites. But for them to enter the promised land, God said to Moses, the eyes will see Canaan, but unless you will not read there. The same thing happened to Dr. the boys. After the boys with the black struggled for our freedom, the boys didn't see the freedom day. But Dr. the boys believed and knew that that day would come. So before his death, he wrote a last statement before his death. And I will show this statement in the boys' version. When Dr. the boys was coming to Ghana in 1961, he didn't come alone. He came in with a wife, the second wife, Mrs. Shelley Graham Du Bois. Shelley was a great writer, a composer, and activist. Shelley became the director to GBC, Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. After the death of Dr. Du Bois and his burial, the wife who came Dr. Du Bois was still living in this country, in this house. So in 1966, when the first president of Ghana, Osage Kwame Nkrumah, was overthrown by the military government, it was a coup d'etat. So life became very difficult for Shelley and even Nkrumah to live in this country. So with Shelley, she left the country to Germany, from Germany to France, from France to Tanzania. Her life was really difficult because when they were coming to Ghana, they lost their US citizen. So when they came to Ghana, they became a Ghanaian. <coughs> And even after her life became very difficult to live in Ghana, when a poor passed away in 1975, he still came back to Ghana. Because there is a saying that when you are going to eat and the food doesn't taste good for you, you need to ask your man what is wrong over there. So with Shirley Graham, the wise, no matter the struggle that he faced when a poor was returning in this country, he still came back when a poor passed away to be with the wife. After staying here for some time, lived to Egypt with Fatia and Koma. Fatia and Koma is the wife of Dr. Kwame and Koma. So when she uh, adopted the boys for a family who passed away, they moved to Egypt and stayed there for some time. And from there, moved to China for a surgery. Shelly was suffering from breast cancer. So she needed a surgery, and that made her travel all the way to China for a surgery. And after her treatment in China, live in China to her death in 1977 at the age of 82. But because she was still organic, so they also brought her ashes back to their country. So Dr. the Boys and Shalom the Boys, they are all in this house. Now we are in Dr. the Boys living room, a big living room with his original kitchen cabinet. You can see? That was our original kitchen cabinet, Dr. the Boys and the boy boys. In there are some tea cups and a coffee cup, Dr. the Boys and the white boys. Most of the time when I say this is the original kitchen cabinet, you may think this area is the kitchen area. No, the kitchen is right behind, behind the wall. So we have this small entrance over here. So anything Dr. Teddy boys and the wife need, they have not to walk themselves to the kitchen. They just put through to the living room or to the dining room. We have seven rooms in this house. Each of the rooms tell a different story. If you look at this wall, most of Dr. Teddy boys pictures is arrival with the family. And also on that wall, so we can tell our history through our clothing, our food, and our culture as Africans. We have natural resources. To talk about our health, we have some health that we use in our own health. But you cannot say that we have the herbalism, so we are going to stick to that. The world is moving. So now, have the modern health struggles also among us to improve on our health. And we are going to move to each of these rooms. And all questions are welcome. If you don't ask questions, the way I like talking, I'll ask questions. So let's enjoy the talk. After you are done working this area, you can move straight to this room. Excuse me.